First, I want to start by asking for some help. I want to make some videos on researching things that people are interested in and making videos on them so people don't need to research them. One thing I'm thinking about doing is making a video on should you preheat your car before you drive off in. As in, turn it on, let it warm up before you drive off and what the time limit is. So if you've got any ideas of products that you'd like me to research, so whether it's fuel additives or whatever it may be, leave a comment and let me know what you want me to research and I'll try and make a video on it. Let's get into this one. If you want to replace your plastic tub liner that's in the back of your ute, or if you don't have one, want to put a spray on liner, I didn't want to spend the big money of the Raptor liner or products like that. So I had to think about it and thought about what's, what can I do to put a protective liner in that's a spray on liner that I can do for cheap. I'm going to show you the pictures and then I'm going to show you what I used. I'm going to show you what it looks like before it goes on. I'm going to show you after two coats. It hasn't fully dried, so it doesn't look amazing, but it's still in the drying process. And then I will show you what it looks like at the end, how it is now. And you'll be really surprised what I used. And it worked out to be 17, roughly $17 a can, and I used two and a half cans. So this might be a cheap option for you. So what you can see here is the tub before it's had any coatings applied. What I did before I sprayed it, I wiped it down with wax and grease remover to remove any impurities, just so that way that the liner would stick properly and I wouldn't have any peeling issues. What you can see now is the tub after it's had one spray. It still looks a little bit wet in the middle, but it does eventually dry. Now this last photo, this is what it looks like just after I sprayed it with its second coat. You can see on the left hand side um, the granular texture. Uh, it's pretty durable and it's pretty good. So what product did I use? So this is what it looks like after it's been on for a long while. Uh, I only put a very rough two coats on and you can see the mat that I've got in the floor. I've, I'm getting a canopy, so I've got my electronics bagged up. Um, you can see a little bit of rubbing over there where the cable's been rubbing, but that won't be there full time. Um, but I think it came up all right for $17 a can at roughly two cans. If you spent more time and effort and went three cans, four cans, you'd get a much thicker layer, and that's still only under $100. I think it's a, it's a really good, nice finish. It's a matte finish. And yeah, it's just I'm happy with it. May not be for you, but this is this is what worked for me. So the product I used was Rust-Oleum Leak Seal. It's in the plumbing section at Bunnings. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below. I'm not associated with this product at all. It's just that it's the product that I found. It's a rubberized texture, and for how cheap it is, and I'm not going to be throwing heavy-duty tools and things in the back. It suits me just fine. So I've got a mat on the floor and there's not going to be a lot scratching on the walls. So it's going to do just fine for what I need. Even if you don't go with this product, you might be able to think of another product that you can use that's not a traditional um, spray on liner. Uh, but at least it gives you some idea of what you can do that's not the traditional thing. Thanks for watching.